everyone. Welcome back to VC's Craft World where we are crafting today. Um, so we have some Dollar Tree items that we're going to try to make look a little high end. So come with me and these are going to be um, today. These are going to since the looks are fall colors. This is going to be a fall. I know we're doing Christmas in July, but I said at the beginning, we're going to mix it up a little bit. We've got some birthday. We've got some baby shower. We've got several things going on. So we're going to throw in fall. All right. So from Dollar Tree, I picked up and I've, I've tried this. I've tasted it. It's really, really good. I like popcorn. I like caramel corn. So this is the Harry and David Moose Munch. Very good. And then we have the Harry and David coffee. And this is the vanilla creme brulee. And then we have some Dollar Tree salted caramel. It's sugar free. I couldn't find one that was not sugar free, but I like the color, the aesthetic, and it also went with my theme. So that's what we're doing. And we have these white. Dollar Tree wide mouth mugs. That will go perfect. So, it's, normally I have this part done, but this was a quick let me get on camera video. So, I'm just going to stuff it with two pieces of the construction paper filler and then I'm gonna put my vanilla syrup in front along with my coffee and it's just four items from the Dollar Tree and three easy little steps oh, wait. why normally to practice so you see how it has that hole I don't like that so I'm gonna cut that off first of all sometimes I will try to cut off that top part so it doesn't look like it really was hanging on a wrap up and I put my stuff everywhere so I ended up putting this together real quick off camera it was just again the coffee the caramel corn and then the salted caramel flavor for the coffee I'm just gonna go ahead and put my little shred in the mug Stuffing it in, making it look presentable. And there, quick and easy gift. So, and I have three of these that I'm gonna do. Um, but yeah, these are gonna go on my table at my fall festival. So to kind of spruce it up, a Dollar Tree, I was gonna use this ribbon on it if it was Christmas, but it's to me, it's giving fall with the colors. So I'm gonna use this instead. This ribbon. So I'm gonna take it, hold on, just cut a piece. And I'm just gonna wrap it around the mug and put a little bow around the mug. And to me, I probably could have went with a smaller ribbon, but for time purposes, 
video purposes, I went with this. And this is a cute way to dress up a plain mug and make it look like it's definitely worth more than a dollar twenty-five. This makes a cute teacher gift. And I think it's super cute. This. We've got the mug, we've got the coffee, we've got the syrup. Um, and actually, I already filmed the first part of this video. Um, so if you hear me saying that again, you'll say like, why is she? I forgot I already said that in the introduction part of the video. I'm just filming the back half. Anyway, um, so I already have one completed. These are already assembled and together, but I have one that's already completed. And I'm not going to even kid you. I did this because I was in creative mode and I'll just show you. So this is one that's complete. I put the bow on the actual mug because I thought it was so cute. And then I put the fall leaves because of course the coffee, the caramel syrup, and then the Harry and David um, caramel corn on the back. But I just love the bow on the inside. How I'm gonna wrap it, y'all, I don't know. <laughs> if I could be honest, I'm not sure how I'm gonna um, put the plastic on it. I mean, I can just wrap it in the plastic and then the bow will get smushed, of course, and then I can just do another bow on the outside. It's you know, it's it would take up material. That would be two bowls where I could have just did one if I would have done it on the outside. But, oh, you see my coffee mug there. Sorry, I'm moving. But um, I don't know. I don't know yet how I'm going to do this. But I just know it was so cute when I completed it. And I really like it a lot. A lot. Tell me what you think. Maybe you guys can tell me if I should do it on this one. And then the blue one. So the blue one with this one, I ended up putting the caramel corn this way on the back and then having the coffee and the syrup on the front. This is the vanilla flavor um, of the syrup and it was blue, but I thought this was too cute. So, I'm going to go ahead and wrap on camera in my plastic. I never do this on camera. I might have done it in another video, but um, I typically don't do it because for me, I try to keep my videos, you know, nice and sweet and kind of short. And the wrapping part just takes a little bit longer. But this is the <clears throat> cellophane wrap that I get from Amazon. And I will start linking my Amazon. So what I do, I don't know if you can see it. And this is why I work with a small table. So I'm going to get a bigger table soon. Yes, I am. I actually have tables, especially the tables that I've been with. But I, um, I don't have them in the house. Typically, I had been keeping them in the car. But now I'm cleaning my car out because, you know, it's not season anymore. So I don't have to ride around with my tables in the car. I stay ready for a pop-up. I just, I do. But I'm going to go ahead and clean it out now because... And when I tell you I have like helium balloons that I hadn't blown up that I need to get out. Let me let you see what I'm doing here. All right. So what I do is I measure my um, cellophane. I put the 
item or the basket in it so I can just make sure that I have enough room up top so I can put a bow. And then once I have it like that, then I'll go ahead and open it up. Sorry for the noise on camera. And I have bags, um, silicone bags that I actually, actually shrink wrap bags I have that are this size. They're up in my craft room somewhere. I, I need to get in my craft room and organize. I need to find a Saturday that I'm not running errands and just get to my craft room. I need to stop putting it off. I mean, yes, I got the stuff off of, out of my living room. So now it's actually a living room, a family room. But I just need to, you know, I just kind of threw it in my craft room. And now I just need to get back to it. Anyway, again, sorry for the noise. That's another reason why I don't wrap on camera. Like, the noise, it gets on my nerves. So. I know it. It's on anybody else's nerves. But I'm doing it because people have asked me to share and I'm trying to get to the point where I'm making more quality videos giving you guys what you want in the videos and of course typically um, I don't have it there my zip ties are too far over they're over there so for now, I'm just going to do twine because that's what's near me right now. But normally I would put a zip tie on it to tie it tight. And I like the zip tie because you can adjust it and tighten it as you go. Because what I do is I pull... You can do the same thing with the, the twine, but I just kind of pull as I go. And I, when I say pull, I'm pulling this up top to make sure that it's nothing crinkled, nothing wrinkled, nothing slouching, and that it's pulled as tight as it could be from all angles. And then once I do that, then I go in and I tie my twine or zip tie as tight as I can. And I'll double knot it. But since this is kind of like a, um, it gives the mood of, and then I just try to cut it to make my sides even. So the twine actually matches so I'm gonna keep that kind of long and tie in with the bow. Now in the back here, it shows a little puckle from me tying it over and a little bit of um, cellophane that didn't get tied up top so that that doesn't open up. I'm gonna go ahead and pull this as tight as I can. And then I'm just going to put my tape on it. And literally, you can't even see the tape that's holding it together. All right. And then for this, I have this type of bow. Hold on. So I know for me back in the day, I would just put another piece of twine and just leave it like that. So you can be as simple or as fancy as you'd like. 
And all that is determined by your price that you want to charge. So if you're going to charge $10 for something like, I'm not saying I am before y'all come for me. I'm not saying I'm charging $10. I'm just giving a scenario. So if you want to charge $10, then you can put another piece of twine and just leave it like this, tie it in a bow. However, if you want to charge 25 20 dollars for this gift and then i just cut the excess off at the top but if you want to charge 20 dollars, like i said for this gift then you can easy 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 sorry put a bow on it and one moment i am not sure where my bow maker is right now again in my craft room somewhere so i'm just gonna kind of wing it so for this bow i'm just gonna do it like a little kid would do a shoe shoe bow a bow tie i'm just gonna do it like this cut off a good amount and this ribbon I got from, I think it's Crafters Outlet. That's where I get a lot of my ribbon from. Um, it's different, it's unique. Uh, when I was doing um, wreaths, I would get a lot of my material, except for my wreath form. I, I get my wreath form from Dollar Tree, and I stick by that because it's a dollar twenty-five. And you can make a really, really beautiful wreath off of that dollar twenty-five. So I don't buy my wreath form from. I have gotten a couple from Michaels, um, just the fancier ones, and and that was when Michaels run it on sale. Anyway, my bow. All I did for this, um, I have this. I just pulled it this way and then brought it around to the front and this way, make a cross. And honestly, when you make sure it's even on both sides, and just kind of work with it a little bit, make sure this is down, make sure your sides are even. This is how I make a quick and simple easy bow when one, I'm in a rush, or two, like now, I can't find my bow maker. And so, in the middle, I would just tie, for this one, I'm gonna do twine because I've already started with this material of the twine. So I'm gonna do twine. Sometimes, uh, if I'm doing a wreath or maybe a bigger bow or multiple um, ribbon for a bow, I will do um, a zip tie, it just depends. So I'm gonna wrap it, I put the twine on and I have it this way. I have my two fingers in the back, my thumb in the front that was holding it. And then in the back, it's like this. I keep it like this, I'm gonna knot it. So then when I'm ready to tie it, I can just tie the bow right on like that. All right. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut it and make it even. Tie that knot. And you just gotta use your other fingers. In the back to get that knot without letting go. And then I tied it tight so it's already in that knot. And then if you wanna keep it here at the one knot, I always tie two or three to make sure it's secure. But what I'm doing is I'm kind of playing with it a little bit. So if I need to adjust my sides, it looks like this side might be a little um, longer, then I still have some room to pull it through because I haven't double knotted it yet. So I have a little wiggle room. So to me, that looks even. And I eyeball everything. I don't measure it. You can if you want to. 
Me, I just don't. Um, because I just eyeball it. I do that with everything. And it, it tends to work out for me. So. One second. And again, if you have multiple ribbon, then this is where you can add those on top if you choose to as well. This for this one, I'm just doing a single one. Let me tie it back in another knot. To make sure it's secure. And then I'm going to prop it on like that, like so. And then even here, you can play with it a little bit. You can push it in. And then for me, I like having the twine sometimes like just hanging down. Sometimes I like to do that. So you can do it that way if you choose to. You can cut them off and have them short. Um, I just think it gives it like a nice little appeal. So then now that I have my bow on, I'm going to cut them to make them even. And then... Here, you can either leave it like this straight or you can give it the ducktail look. And I like the ducktail look. And all you do is pinch it. And then you can have it. I like the the um, ribbon with the wire because you can manipulate the wire and make it however you want. Sometimes um, I would, it depends on if it's a girly, girly gift. Sometimes I would put a pearl or a stone or something right there in the middle just to kind of dress it up. But for this one, I'll leave it the way that it is. I think it turned out really cute. I love the bow on it. I like it whether you have the bow on the inside or the out. Um, and then also you can take some leaves and add some embellishment to it. One second. So this leaf set I purchased at Walmart last year, um, $1.99. It was bigger than this. I cut some off for this one. Um, but you can even put, you can hot glue some leaves. I, I'm not hot gluing it right now, but I'm just showing you what it would look like if you wanted to put some leaves on and it would definitely scream fall. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I think it was long enough. I took a long enough several breaks <laughs> grabbing items, but I just wanted to first of all show you how I wrap my gifts and then second of all just give you a couple of options of how you can um, dress up your bow even more, take it to another level. Um, and like I said, take this what? $3, $4 gift and make it into an easy peasy $25, $30 gift. And it's all in the bow. It's how you present your gift. Um, like I said, I keep saying it. I love it. I think it turned out super cute. 
comment, share, subscribe, and let me know what you think about this um, cute little simple, easy oh, oh, gift. I almost lost the blue one, y'all. But um, I'll come back and check for pictures on my Instagram page. For real, for real. I'm going to upload pictures. I'm going to start doing that. So I'm going to upload without the wrapping and with the wrapping, just so they can see the items and what they are. And then for this blue one, I have this pretty blue um, ribbon for fall. I'm going to wrap that one in. I'm going to put it in the plastic and wrap it. All right. That's it for this one, though. Um, it's been long enough. I'm going to, I think I have room for one more video to try to crank out. Um, thank you so much for watching my videos. I truly appreciate it. Comment, share, subscribe, and let me know how you like. And I know you will comment because every time somebody does comment and I truly appreciate them. I will get back on task of responding to my comments. Um, just been a little bit behind. Thank you. Bye. <laughs>